Welcome, 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 welcome to Jump Change, everybody, to the post show where we hear the truths behind the lies. And uh, I'm joined again by the cast of our last episode. So <laughs> welcome back, Drew, Larry, Andy, and Eric. Welcome back, everyone. Um, hey, Andy, did you hit that guy with the car or what happened? Yeah, yeah so okay, scary, yeah, so, <laughs> so let's, uh, Andy, we didn't, yeah, we didn't even get to hear, like, you tell a story <laughs> whether or not it was yours, but uh, it was your story. So uh, your friend was in a hit and run. You were in the pasture seat. What, what did actually go down? Uh, it was, uh, it, it was this weird, like, we were trying to get into the turning lane and, we it looked clear and as we turned a car was already going through the turning lane to like turn left at the light or whatever and we just hit the side of their car and their car just got hit and they kind of stopped and the light is still green and we're waiting there we're like fuck we should wait we should wait we got to talk to these guys we we definitely got to talk to these guys and then the light turns red and my friend just books it and just goes Whoa. through the red light immediately, knowing that they would be stuck behind there. And he was like, I can't get caught, dude. I can't get, this is my dad's car. I'm 16. I can't do this. And, and he didn't even have a license. It was, it was just, it was oh, the most God. nerve wracking thing I've ever been a part wow. of. Wow. Yeah. So you were anti leaving the scene. Oh my God. I just thought like, I've been in an accident before. I've been in one accident. You stay there. You fucking wait a little, little fender bender or whatever. And no, dude, we just, we booked it. And the whole rest of the morning now, also, this is after a whole uh, an all nighter of just like video games and just dumb bullshit. And so I was expecting to go home and just pass out, go to sleep. But then we got into this hit and run and now I'm just super paranoid for like a goddamn week. I'm just terrified of like, uh, is that is that their car? Like looking out the window, assuming that the cops oh. are coming because we thought they got like the license plate or some shit. It was terrifying, dude. I uh, when I was younger in a panic, I. Uh... I hit a car that was parked outside of someone's house and I and I drove home. I was like, oh God, I can't get caught. And then got home, felt so horrible. I immediately told my dad and the two of us drove back. <laughs> and when, when it went outside, I was like, hey, yeah, that was me. <laughs> I just, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine. Yeah, like a week of that. I was just like, I, yeah. Oh, it was man, so like my, my, my friend's dad had one of those grill guards in the front of the truck or whatever. It was like an SUV. So nothing yep. happened to the truck. There was no noticeable damage, but their car kind of got a nice little dent in it, most likely. Because it was like a good, it was a good chunker, man. Oh, shit. It was so scary, dude. God, waiting for the red light just to cut them off. That's like yeah. a fast and furious move. Like, Jesus yeah, and, and it was and you got to imagine like sitting there and I'm like, OK, this fucking sucks. You know, surely we could like figure this out or whatever. And the red, the light turns red, and he starts going. I go, and I'm just like, "What are we doing? What are we doing? What, what are you doing? What are you doing?" <laughs> like, I'm just like freaking the fuck out, dude. And he's like, "I can't, I can't, I can't." I it can't. sucks so bad, dude. I can't go back. I can't go back. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, hey, that's so does crazier that mean, than... Drew? Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, okay. hang on, Larry. I don't trust you. It, does that Eric mean Drew week. rode his bike 450 miles? It yeah. does. It Why? does now. Yeah, I want to know about that. So, Drew, what's with that? What's with the four in a week? So, so there's a thing called the Oklahoma Freewheel, uh, and it's a like a a tour of Oklahoma in a week. And uh, me and my dad did it. It was when I was a kid, just because he was like, "Hey, you need some sort of sport that you play." So we did this big little <laughs> tour, camped out every night on my bike. Uh, and then I thought I was really cool and wore my bike shorts places that I definitely shouldn't have as like an 11 year old. Kid. Oh. You should you do wear that them out now for like for like That's for like so track cool. and field day. I showed up in bike shorts. <laughs> Bust them out. Do you still, bike? Do you still huh? bike nowadays, Drew? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Not four hundred fifty miles in seven days, but a, a, like you twenty should... miles in one in an hour. Two Drew, hours. Drew, you should oh, get three three tiny little hours. bike, tiny little bike shorts. Put them on the dead bat. Oh. 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 Together. Bat bike. And then you should get tiny bike short, bike short skeletons and put it on the skeleton bat. <laughs> Eric got so excited. That, why, he why, like, why was that? I feel like that was the moment everything went off the rails. As soon as I had to qualify that it, one was a was a was made of bones, you were like, I'm done. I'm I have to leave now. I well I knew that it was made of bones. We said that it was made of bones. <laughs> I don't want to get back into it. I don't one of the again. skeletons. Oh boy. Oh God boy, damn. guys, well, we're having a heck of a time here today. Larry was almost on a, a a cable show. It is nuts. Andy was a gorilla um, man. A gorilla, yeah. Larry, what's with the gorilla? 
I've heard this story from you before because we actually did it on a test episode of Chump. We used the yes. same fact from you. Um, but please remind me and tell everyone else about this gorilla. Yeah, so when I was in high school, I think it was just like one Halloween. I, you know, I went to like the costume shop and uh my my parents were nice enough that they were like oh hey we'll buy you a halloween costume or whatever because you know well, hey you're a kid and you don't have money uh and i was like i want i saw the gorilla costume I was like i want to be the gorilla and they were like this is kind of expensive you better use it and so that's kind of how it started was that i'm like okay i'll wear it at halloween and then i'll just kind of wear it to like local festivals uh dress up as the gorilla put the little pimp hat what on and go take pictures with people <laughs> I'd like um, to imagine. Yeah. Well, I would love to imagine yeah. that it's 5 p.m. and Larry's parents are sitting there and being like, "Larry, haven't put on the suit today." <laughs> and like, Larry's like, "Really oh, got to get the money right. for it, Larry." <laughs> like, they're like, treating Larry, it what? like it's a skateboard. <laughs> like, do you remember like, the like, last you day? You better use it. <laughs> like, do you remember nice. the last day that you put it on? Was there like was there like a a Batman day where you were like? So, I'm hanging up the suit for good. So the, the thing that kind of sucks <laughs> is that, like, I I wasn't able to personally retire it because uh, for I was in like theater in high school and there was a play where they needed a gorilla costume, so they borrowed mine, put it in, uh, put a kid who was way too big for it in the suit, and he basically broke it. So they returned it to me all busted, and then I was like, oh well, fuck. I guess I guess the journey's over. And oh, that, was that, the story, that, that story made me way sadder than it should have. That girl. <laughs> That's uh, also the the person who was in charge of doing that was my at the time ex girlfriend. So I'm pretty sure she did it on purpose, uh, uh, which made it hurt even more. Sad. She was like, the, the, breaking this suit will hurt him more than I ever could. <laughs> <laughs> uh Eric. but no that's uh, i us i usually went to festivals but i went to target once and then we were leaving and i went to this ice cream shop where i worked and as we were leaving there uh my friend's car died so then i was stuck at the place that i worked in a gorilla costume <laughs> larry uh, hell yeah this is why you're uh, you've pretty much always been on deck for chump like we go <laughs> we could really use like a psycho on this episode <laughs> like we always have larry there like, but i i, I the also wing. feel like larry could go once a week like he could be on the show every week and have new bullshit you know yeah absolutely. Yeah, right? like i'm so ready uh eric yeah <laughs> i thought i was going insane i thought i was losing huh? my mind when you what? started when i started talking to andy and you were wearing huh? red sunglasses <laughs> What is it? What's, what's up? I'm just wearing you were just wearing sunglasses. I, Eric, I thought yeah. I was mm -hmm. like, I broke. He he literally has broken me today. Because <laughs> no. my first thought wasn't he's changed sunglasses. My first thought oh. was I'm literally going insane. And this <laughs> man. Oh God! Make sure. I hope you guys watched kind of funny. Um, make sure you check out Off Topic. Yeah, check Friday me out for more Eric Week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and thank really you to ExpressVPN wanna... for sponsoring this episode of Chump Change. Eric Week. ExpressVPN.com <laughs> slash RTTV. <laughs> Subscribe now. Uh, it's stop God from seeing what you're doing online. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Thank you very much. Um, it's been it's been a roller coaster. Thank you guys for tuning in. We have one episode of Chump and one episode of Chump Change left left this season. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, and thank you for being a first member. Much appreciated if you're watching this. It's gonna uh, be a good time. Bye. Yeah. All right. Bye, everyone. Yeah. We'll see you later. <laughs> have a good one. <laughs>